Oh, vinyl's back, I guess. Yeah, vi- vinyl's definitely back. Um, I, you know, there it's are such people... such a pure sound. Well, no. Don't you think? No. No, okay. vinyl could... Vinyl... Well, you're the sound engineer amongst us, so all right. Yeah, vinyl completely ruins the sound of things um, in that okay. when things... Well, here's here's a, here's sort of the a, an, an interesting historical fact. Uh, vinyl... You lose a bunch of low, a bunch of high end, right? When when you master for vinyl, so or when you when you print to vinyl. So what you have to do is is over you goose the the high end before you master it to vinyl, and and then and then you can get a nice, you know, even sound and all of that good stuff. They took those masters, the vinyl masters, and the very first CDs that we all bought were just made from those vinyl masters. So that's why when CDs first came out, they sounded like harsh and awful because you were getting what the master had directly uh, to your speakers. And so then they started remastering things, remember, for yep, CD. Right. That's remastered audio. Yeah. Correct. And then it, you know, it was like, OK, well, we can we can pull out all this extra high end that we added. And look, if you like vinyl con- with audio, confirmation bias is is actually a good thing. Because if you like what you have, if you like holding the record, if you like putting the tone arm on the, the, the thing and watching the record spin, and or if you simply believe that vinyl sounds better, it will sound better to you and you will therefore enjoy it more. And that's OK. It like it, there's there's nothing wrong with confirmation bias when it comes to sound. It, you know, people that buy twenty five thousand dollars speakers like them better than the $500 speakers that somebody else might buy. Also okay. One cool thing about vinyl is having like listening parties where people bring vinyl over and now it it makes music more interactive. You put on vinyl, each side is only 20 minutes or so, you know, mm-hmm. and so you you like there's a lot of things. I I at times have had a uh, a turntable in my office and I really like the um, sort of the ritual of every, you know, 30 minutes having to get up and go and flip it. It gives me something to do while I'm, you know, it gives me a break of what I'm doing and listening, you know, because I listen to music when I'm, when I'm alone in the office, just sort of, you know, grinding stuff out. So I, yeah, vi- but yes, vinyl is, is back. We just released um, the latest bitter pill record. Living ain't cheap. Dying ain't free is available on vinyl and it's all red. It's awesome. So now, isn't there some science in the cartridge? Is that what it's called? Absolutely. Yeah. That will affect the input quality or Correct. playback quality, I guess. Correct. Yeah. And you can change out the the cartridge, the needle, if you will, um, although the needle is part of the cartridge. Uh, so they are two separate things. But yeah, you can change out the cartridge on this turntable and, uh, you know, and, and put something. I believe they told me what cartridge is in it. Uh, I'm looking here. It is an Audio Technica AT VM 95E cartridge. So, but you could, if you have a cartridge that that you like better, then you can replace it. And that that would be fine.